Okay, we should see a log come flying down through that mass here in just a minute. Now that went harder than I thought. Got hung up there a little bit. And then uh, the other issue, what I was using for a tail hold, pulled up on me. So we'll pull it the rest of the way up. This is my second time using this dynamic rope. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with it. It kind of acts a little like a, a bungee cord. You know, it has a little stretch to it. And That first log in here got a little hung up, but we also sucked a eye into the block, so we had to fight that loose. And There was a bunch of, you know, bits of limb and stuff on the road, and Plus, trying to pull downhill will take traction off the rear tires, and it's just an old two-wheel drive truck. So that created issues along with the brush and, and whatnot. But that dynamic rope, instead of having that, that static cable where you hit the end of it, and it, you know, it's hard on stuff. It's I broke a few cables that way. You know, this gives you some stretch, and you can kind of keep that in mind. And especially like when skidding a log, it's nice to get that momentum hit the end of it and it helps to pop it up and get it loose so it's skidding across the top of the ground and that's why i primarily pull with my truck the truck has a 12,000 pound winch on the front but what i found when you're trying to winch is it moves so much slower it catches every root every bump you know digs into the dirt whereas if you get it moving and keep the momentum you know then it runs right across the top for you and you know, the other nice thing is, is uh, with this uh, dynamic rope, when I pulled the, uh, a couple days ago, I posted a, a video of that, and, you know, it would bump up against stuff, and it gives you that, that little stretch, rather than losing all your momentum, and it seems to work pretty good. Uh, what I picked up is, I just picked one up on Amazon, it's a one inch by 20 foot, and like in that second pole, that was a pretty easy pole, just redirected through a block. And 
I didn't need the extra length so I doubled it up and all in all I'm pretty dang impressed with uh, this dynamic rope so hope you enjoyed the video thanks